Now it's time for the all-German semi-final here in Yankton. World number 11 up against world number 14. Contest between athletes from the same country can be the trickiest of the lot. Semi-final number two, Germany versus Germany. Well, here we go. Semi-final number two, and the Germans will have one athlete in the gold medal match and one athlete in the bronze medal match. Interesting place for the team officials to be in. But sometimes they are the trickiest of contests, aren't they, against the teammate, especially at the latter end. Yeah, Germany have entered only with the one coach who stood in the middle and I think was told by the judge she needs to pick a box. Well, with the one coach in the box there to provide support for both athletes, it will be Unruh to shoot first against her teammate, Michelle Croffin. So we saw the nerves of Croffin in the quarter final. It'd be interesting to see if she can keep a lid on those throughout the semi. Just both going to the right, making adjustments. Can't see much wind or problem within the venue. No, it's been very steady here so far today. And yeah. that puts that one to bed. A 27, strange way to get there, but it's enough for Unruh to steal the first two set points. Well, it was out of reach for Croffin. She put in a nine to finish things off. Those nerves don't look to be there right right at this very moment in time, but it could be only a matter of time. Well, they built and built, didn't they, in the, in the quarter final? Not too bad to start with, and she took the lead, um, and then when her brain realised what was happening, they crept in, so it'll be interesting to see what happens throughout the match. I think her coach played a big role in that quarterfinal as well, sort of calming her between ends and, you know, coaches chosen to stand behind the more experienced Lisa Runru. Interesting decision. Well, as you say, you had to pick a box and she had to pick a box and it, the, the, the situation here is one where it appears that the German coach is going to be coaching both athletes from one box because they have to do that. Hasn't moved. Unless you've got the scope and the equipment. Can't move that around easily. Start of the second. Crop and trailing. We'll shoot first. Still making that error to the right. You can see a string from Lisa Unruh's bow on the front there. That helps with any wind as an indication. Can't see any wind at all. Getting crop and taking the extra time just to breathe. anymore. Uh, 
goes high into the eight, so massive opportunity here. It's more than enough. The 28 from Unruh sees her go 4 0 up. She's in control of this one, Nikki. Yeah, she really is. I mean, Lisa's a very experienced archer. She's been out there on the circuit for, for many years, picking up that bronze medal in Rio individually. And they won as a team as well in Tokyo, didn't they? A, a medal as well. So you know, years of experience. I'm really surprised the coach has decided to stand behind Lisa, who perhaps she knows better and has worked more with, but Crotton really starting to feel the nerves again and kind of needs some support of her own. Well, this is the, the issue when you get <laughs> two athletes to the latter stages of a competition, they go up against each other. Um, you can't divide yourself in two as a coach. And there is signs of Cropland trying a bit of self-therapy with a bit of smiling and laughing, trying to keep herself in the right frame of mind. But Unruh, well, she's in the frame of mind come here and try and win this she leads four set points to nil crop and shooting first in the third set Nine. see from that shot crop and not really starting her shot process until 15 seconds was on the clock so i think she's just trying to put herself under that little bit more pressure to get into it characteristic needs a drop in no So, big chance now. Seven puts this one to bed and puts Croppen on the scoreboard. That's nine. By far her best shooting in the match. Things being stretched out here by Croppen, who has taken this set. She's on the scoreboard. And that is the empty box on Croppen's side. And there's the smile of someone who's found the middle of the target. She still seems keen and hungry for this. She's stretching it out. The seven there, a curious one from Unruh at the beginning of the set, but things just got better and better. Doesn't look like that from that facial expression. The one thing for sure with this all German semi-final is that we aren't guaranteed the first ever German medal at this competition. Because one of them has to, at the very minimum, get a silver medal. Again, Kroppen just taking her time to get set up. Wasting a bit of time in the beginning of her 20 seconds. It's a 10 to start the fourth end. But she's managed to fight her way to. Again, waiting, deep breath, trying to calm the nerves. Answer that. I think they're all nerves, a little bit more relaxed. Well, Crofton can put this one to bed with a 10 if she can control those nerves. Heard the coach calling for the 10 there. Going to the nine, so 28 on the board. 
is gettable by Unruh. She does need a 10. Hasn't had one of those two arrows. And nine, but not enough. So 4-4. Four, four. That's not the way things looked six arrows ago at all. How things change. We go into a fifth set. Uh, Nikki, got any thoughts on who might take this one? Oh, it's so hard to say. I think, you know, the story of Croppen is really, can she control those nerves? And she went 4-0 down, so nervous in those first two sets. And I think she finally thought, you know what? I can just calm down now. It's, you know, there's nothing to lose here. She's come back with two great sets. So, you know, can she hold her nerve? Can she get to that third hour of this set? And... You maintain her form, that's the question. Well, it certainly will be nervy in this final set. You get the look of, oh, shocks, I should have done that. Fifth and final regulation set here in this very tense all-German semi-final. Lisa Unruh to shoot first, pops it in the 10, and that's what she needs to put a bit of pressure on her compatriot, Michelle Croppen. It's a good start from her, a little bit shaking, but she kept her form and kept her timing. Set again. Okay. Definitely more nerves creeping in, pushing her out to the eight. So, can Unruh do it right now? She pulled that one across, but it is in the ten, and that is enough. For Unruh, after a wobble in sets three and four, she's done enough to take the points here and make it through to the gold medal match. Croppen will release her final arrow. And a very relaxed finish in the end for a nine, but a 6-4 win for Lisa Unruh. It was a very nervy one in the end, but... Uh, has done enough to make it through to the gold medal match. And she is going to face Elena Asipova, who took out Topeka Kumari. Kumari will face Kroppen for the bronze medal next, though. 